Now, your Skywarn 13 weather forecast. Well, it turned out to be a rather windy day across the area, but that was offset by beautiful sunshine and those temperatures rising through the 80s as well. That said, going into this evening, yes, we are tracking the potential for severe weather across western Wisconsin. And as far as the window for those storms to move through, as it looks right now, I think between 7 o'clock and midnight. So in that time frame, if you have outdoor plans, it will be very important to stay weather aware. And again, have a way to receive those alerts in the event that a watch or warning were to be issued. Now, I do think our highest chances for strong to severe thunderstorms are going to be near and especially north of Highway 8. But further south, there are still some uncertainties regarding our storm coverage. There's a couple variables in play. One of the main factors, though, is what we call a cap or basically a lid on the atmosphere that prevents that rising air from reaching uh, the instability that's currently over us. If that cap does not break and actually remains in place, the likelihood of storms in the Chippewa Valley and further south are going to be a lot lower as opposed to if we see that cap break, there's more certainty that those storms are going to fire up. And again, there's some differences among the forecast models. So unfortunately this evening, it's just going to be one of those wait and see games. As far as our threats, I think damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour could be possible in some large hail. There is a very, very, very low end tornado threat, but that looks to be very isolated in nature. Again, the primary threat's going to be damaging winds and large ha size hail. Now, as far as our severe risk for this evening, really a good part of the Chippewa Valley and areas north are in this yellow color, uh, indicating a level two risk. If you live in this green area, we're in that level one marginal risk, but really wherever you are or wherever you live, just make sure again to keep an eye on radar uh, just in case a warning should be issued. Again, our highest chances for severe weather likely to occur near and north of Highway 8. Checking out satellite and radar this afternoon, we've already got some showers that have developed along and just ahead of this cold front and out ahead of that boundary, temperatures are rising through the 80s. Across south central Minnesota, we've got a lot of places at least into the low and mid 80s, even a couple of spots now into the upper 80s. But if you look behind that front, it's a different story. That's where we're cooling off, especially with those showers where we've got temperatures into the 70s. And that's what's heading our way uh, moving into tomorrow. As far as those dew points, those are also starting to climb a lot of areas from the 60s into the 70s. So those storms are going to have plenty of moisture to work with as they do get into our neck of the woods. Meanwhile, here in Eau Claire, our current temperature at 84 degrees. We have a south wind on the strong side at 20 miles per hour. A live look from a Nicolay Bank Hastings Dwight Skycam showing plenty of sunshine. Just a couple of high clouds in the sky. Our pressure at 29 0.66 inches. Looking northwest, there's our cold front right there on satellite and radar extending from Fargo down into Pierre, South Dakota. This is going to continue tracking to the southeast. The reason it is warming up today is we do have those southwesterly winds out ahead of that front, but we're going to get into that northwesterly flow moving into tomorrow. So like I said, tonight expect those storms anywhere between 7 o'clock and midnight. This is just one particular model, so don't treat it as gospel. This is just to give you that general idea of what may transpire for this evening. This is 10:15. There's that line of showers and storms starting to develop, but just as quick as they move into the area, they're going to be quick to move out. That's going to give way to clearing overnight. And tomorrow, Skycast is going to show you plenty of sunshine and some clouds mixing in, but what's not shown here is the return of that wildfire smoke. For us, it looks to stay in the upper levels initially, but we could see some of that smoke reaching towards the surface, especially tomorrow evening. So just keep that in mind, especially if, a, if you have a respiratory illness, we'll have clear skies tomorrow night and plenty of sunshine there as we do round out the work week. Highs for tomorrow going to make it up to 75. It's going to be another windy day from the northwest. Meanwhile, on Friday, we're into the low 80s, and there's the start of our heat wave, Judy, into the weekend, <laughs> low 90s. And I hate to say it, dew points likely to be in the 70s, so it's going to feel downright uncomfortable yeah, out there. Yeah, not just hot, but humid. No, and uh, for me, being a warm-blooded person, that is mm. not the right combination. No, it's not. Nope. All right, thanks, Derek. Yep. Another country.